guys, let's do this diagram exercise, which will be number two. And please pay a lot of attention on number two and number three because they have a lot of in common. They are related. So please don't miss exercise number three if you like exercise number two. So first thing first, they will ask you find vapor quality if it is given uh, at these conditions. 600 kilopascals, 20 Celsius, and this enthalpy value. Why this enthalpy value? Well, probably you will be wondering. Uh, with these enthalpy values, you will, let's say, you will uh, characterize that mixture because this value here and this value here will only tell you that you have saturation point. But you will never be able to find out uh, how much vapor is there if you do not have an extensive value. And this is very important, guys. Extensive values is here, and this is intensive value. Okay, so let's do it. We find the first line, which is 0.6 megapascals, which of course is 600 kilopascals. Then we find the second line, which is 20 Celsius. You can follow it, 20 Celsius as well here. And you can see they are already intersected here. So what happened, guys? This is the point in which you're going to find out that if you weren't uh, given this value here, you will not be able to see, you will have all this line. Instead of one point, you will have many points or infinite amount of points, which are here. So the good thing is that we actually have these values. So let's go find out the value and follow it here. It should be a straight line. Sorry if you see it diagonal. But I intersect the value and find out this value here. Let's take out that and that. So my vapor, I have 0.5, this is 0.6, this is 0.7. Follow the lines. And the value is between 0.6 and 0.7. Okay. Uh, I think it's nearest is to 0.7. So you could say it's 0.7. Or better yet, because you know that it is not 0.7 try to get a value a little bit near 0.7. So I will be very happy if you tell me that the vapor quality is 0.68. Even though it's not true, well, 0.7 is absolutely not true because the point does not touch this line. And yeah, 0.68, 67, 69 will do it. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.